stuff that I forgot to send out the stupid uh, notifications. So I'll just do that right now. Uh, Wait, don't you have something for that now? Yeah, but on the serve on the disc uh, on our Discord server, yeah, but not in the other places that I advertise it. Um. So yeah. Uh, once again, showing that at least one thing gets forgotten. So I'm just going to quickly post these around without the uh, usual in five minutes stuff because, yeah, I got <laughs> I got distracted because I'm a bit drowsy today. Still, uh, yeah, still some sleeping issues. So, yeah, quickly sending these around. Uh, Perhaps I'm sending these in too many places uh, for the amount of people it actually seems to draw, as in only a few. But, yeah. <laughs> Pardon? Forgiven. And also, I saw the notice over here on the screen. And that is? They have made a pile of moving corpses, and it's falling over. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, a slight delay there, but oh well. <laughs> and yeah, welcome back to Darksiders Genesis. Uh, yeah, I've already said that it's the late, current latest in the <clears throat> in the Darksiders franchise, so I don't need to repeat that. And yeah, we are playing as Strife and War. <laughs> Put in a road trip to see what the hell Lucifer is up to. <laughs> oh damn it, Hillian! What? Now I have Highway to Hell stuck in my head. <laughs> already there, already there. Good to see you, <laughs> horseman. I wasn't sure you'd return. Try not to sound so disappointed. <sighs> Did you move some stuff around? The void is in constant motion. It is fluid. Everything changes. There are secrets to be uncovered here. Uh, cool? We've recovered the Ember Core, but we are no closer to finding Lucifer, which brings you closer to the edge of my blade. As I've said, all things are connected. The Ember Core will serve as a power source and a beacon. What are you planning? I've only heard rumblings, but to track Lucifer's steps, to find the demons he's conspired with, we'll need a scrying eye, working in conjunction with the Core. Okay. And let me guess, you just happened to misplace yours. I know of an ancient temple said to house such an artifact. My serpent holes can take you. And this scrying eye will lead us to Lucifer. I can think of no other way. Uh, more towards Lucifer, I presume. Then we will recover it. But I warn you, demon. Do not waste our time. I would never dream of it. Do you even dream? Do, do demons even freaking sleep? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Did mm -hmm. you notice that? What? Wolverine's tone. At the end there. Hmm. Yeah, he did sound a bit different there. Like, he was getting a bit testy. Oh. Okay, I get stuck behind the one... <laughs> Uh, how would you even call that? Uh, yeah, behind the one th uh, the light source there. Uh, I start to suspect just from that that Volgrim has a lot of grudge against Lucifer and his demons. There's a good chance he cut into his business. So, yeah. Icebind Cavern. Volgrim requires a scrying eye to locate Lucifer. The horseman heads uh, to an ancient temple to search for it. Oh, hell, okay. Uh, I noticed at the bottom there it's recommended 220 in strength, and both of our characters are, are one. Sure this is hell? I could live here. This is a realm of endless suffering. Embrace the desolation. 
It suits our work. Embrace the desolation. <laughs> Do you ever listen to yourself? Bulgram mentioned four beacons that must be lit to unlock the temple entrance. Then let's get to it. Okay, we might be underpowered for the current uh, mission then. I hope that isn't going to become a problem in later uh, levels. Uh, I think for the most part we should just be able to yeah, force our way through. And if not, we can lower the difficulty as always. <laughs> I'm going that little fucker back into orbit. Okay, so far so good, but these are just, yeah, father. Yeah, and I just had an idea, I hope that would, that can make the wood punting way better. Can that be? You can punk them up into the sky and they get hit by lightning. <laughs> oh, that one was already dead. Okay. And we got out of that unscathed, or at least we <laughs> were back to full health. Now then... Um, I'm guessing this has to do with the fire or something? Or was that just here so we couldn't screw around <laughs> on the ho on horseback during that fight? Mm. Oh. <gasps> Arrows! <laughs> yeah, with nothing next to them, so we have no reason to shoot them at the moment. Yeah, wait, they were red barrels. Yeah, extra splody. Mm. Hmm. Okay, a bit of a warning. I uh, I drank a Red Bull uh, just before this uh, to try and wake myself up a bit more. Uh, yeah, that was, the, I believe, the first Red Bull I've ever tried, so we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> One thing I'll say about hell, it sure is big. It's hella big, you could say. All the more reason we must act quickly. Lucifer will turn others to his cause while we search for him. Council sure does have it out for old Lucy. I don't envy the guy. He betrays the balance. We don't even know what he did. Our cause is just. Why must you always question? Because why would you know? if your cause is actually unjust if you did not question. You should try asking some questions once in a while. Quit playing the good little soldier. But I guess it's easier doing what we do if we don't need a reason. Brother, for your sake, let us carry on in silence. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Hey, were these little jackasses frozen? Okay. Yeah, they're and frozen. They're frozen indeed. And completely useless hotshot modes. Armored flee. Armored flee, oh, flee, flee, flee. Am I pronouncing it right? Uh, it, it does sound almost the same as uh, with two E's. So yeah, you're mostly pronouncing it right. Now, let's see. Then. Yeah, and mm. I'm still surprised that with my late uh, discovery I told you of uh, today. That I only finally today realized brunch oh. is breakfast and lunch combined into one word. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was a lot of damage oh. all of a sudden. Okay, damage spike all of a sudden. Okay, so it's not the playbacks we should be worried about. We should worry about the actual yeah. soldiers. Okay, just means that we'll have to play a bit smarter now. Okay. Hmm. I hope. I hope it can be just fixed by uh, by buying stuff uh, at Deesa's place. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, oh, I'm oh crap. 
Otherwise, oh, did I, what, what, what am I, okay, I was stuck on something there. Well, it, it looked like I should have just been able to move around. Okay, drop the decoy. And don't get caught in that. Ooh. Up. Okay, that gives us shock waves. We'll keep an eye out on that. All right then. Hmm. Now, I'm guessing we it's those these things that we have to. Oh. Uh. No other way around war. Okay, that also works. <laughs> I'm guessing it's these things that we need to light, then we skipped over one of them. Hmm. Okay. Big and flip, one down. All right. So I very much doubt we are calling for Gondor or any such. And you forgot a uh, beacon then. Yeah. The one that's a lot closer. Also, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Do you see this black stone with orange stuff on it? Yeah, these. They look out of the place. Yeah, they can probably be destroyed with uh, something we gained later on or something. Hmm, maybe. Okay. Back to horseback. And what is, what is going on here? Okay. Oh. Okay, feed the idol soul orb. Okay, so we need to we need to break those by feeding it souls so we can get more souls from it. Alright. Simple okay. enough. Now open this up. And more souls. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do we have here with the... Oh. That's yeah, more of these things. Uh, we can uh, <laughs> easily just cut them apart from the horseback, but <laughs> just as I say that, well, we get knocked off, of course. Okay, give me all of that. And what is this thing? Flame brand. Hold wide to spin continuously while moving and cut down enemies with a fiery blade. Ignites enemies, causing them to take damage over time. Passive has a chance on any Chaos Eater attack to deal damage and ignite an enemy, causing them to take damage over time. Attack power is permanently increased. Okay. Oh, here. Okay, select that and hold. Okay. Hmm. What was the other one that we actually got? Uh, Earth Splitter. I don't recall what that one does, so let's just switch to this one. Uh, yeah, now it's our turn to spin to win. Here. Okay. I get the feeling either we need co op. Or another power for that. So once again, we take our leave. Hmm. Actually, maybe with that we can just light the beacons ourselves without having to bounce the fire around. Maybe, yes. and I pray it will not force us into co op. Uh, behind you. Nope. It's not working. <laughs> oh well. We just get that and that, and there we go. The second beacon, please. Still not calling Gondor. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll have to keep a bit of an eye on the uh, recommended power bits. If that starts climbing too high, that to the point that we need we need to start uh, grinding. Okay, that sounds like we got shot there. But if, if that gets uh -oh. to the point that we need to start grinding, we should probably lower the difficulty. 
And one of these things. There we go. That helps a lot with getting rid of the small guys. Okay. I do like the music that you know, this game oh, yeah. has had so far. Yeah, the other ones had good music too, but this one is a bit more its own music. Uh, a bit more pronounced as well. <laughs> um, war. <laughs> uh. Uh. Really? Uh, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, at the very least that didn't bring the big thing back again. Whew. Okay. Wait, I need to hold that. Then. Okay, just a moment of confusion. Lock, lock, and then there. But I, I, I think I actually can listen to this while playing other games. Okay, three down, one to go. Okay, there's a different scroll on this one, yeah. The other two had the same skull on them, on them, I think. Wait, hmm. you say skull? There we go. Skulls for the skull throne? <laughs> no skulls for the skull beacons. Oh. <laughs> no. What is this way then? Oh, hello. And bye. <laughs> okay, there's that oh. symbol again. And we've already been there. Okay, where is this last one hidden then? can go up here if war would there we go and one of those orange crystals again ah. uh, which was it again there yeah it was strife with right trigger pressing and then we throw yeah and then we shoot or not. Fire. Uh, yeah, we need fire to set it off. So yeah, you have need... one of those brazier. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> yeah, I can never figure out how to say it either. I've... Yeah, for... I know, I know... I fear that I ac would accidentally pronounce it as a very fancy bra by mistake. Um, okay, why won't you track to that? And that, that is weird. But it... Okay, there we go. We just needed a bit more of an angle. And this should send it back. No. Okay. Lock. Lock. There we go. Um, lock. And there we go. So will it actually... No. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it needs to stand up there to do that. Oh, oh. we can just pick it up again. Uh, there is something right. else we could do that we have done in the previous uh, games. And that is basically make a daisy chain of them. There we go. Ah. Then we lock. Lock and that should do it. Uh, 
Okay, I was... <laughs> I thought it would be just a little bit too short. But come on, war up. And that isn't even for what we actually need. It's another of these trickster keys. Yeah. Uh, Alright, wait, wait, wait. How do we upgrade ourselves? Do we have a level uh, system? Uh, we go uh, visit uh, these uh, in the store, uh, under a store. Alright. So that's how we get more power level then. Zoom. Uh, break out every frozen flea in Icebind Cavern uh, known thanks. Hmm. Is this new? This looks new. Again, why did it sound like he was getting hurt there? Nope, lost one. Yeah. Okay, give me that. And yeah, we need to be careful with these guys since they can actually deal damage. Oop. I say that and immediately dive into getting killed. Okay. Okay, luckily this... Luckily the secondary shot that we have at the moment deals a lot more damage. And actually keeps them a bit stunlocked. So yeah, we'll be using this a lot more then. Okay. And now we can just finish this off. Yeah. Lock, lock, and lock. There we go, that should do it. Now, what the hell are we even calling? Or whatever we're doing. Okay, we're opening a portal. Okay. Not entirely sure why we needed a portal. Hmm. Okay. I think the portal takes you to the temple? We'll see where it drops us off. Into dungeon. Hmm. Volgrim could have warned us that this place is falling apart. It's older than he is. We must tread lightly. You're telling me to tread lightly? <laughs> I'm pretty sure war is like five tons of armor alone. <laughs> Probably another for freaking Chaos Eater. This bridge looks real safe. Nothing in this um. realm is safe. I'm so glad you're here to catch me up on the important details. Oh, Pokemon coin. Grabbing that. Yep, yep. Yeah, of course. Okay, a uh, bit of other news. Uh, I've been I've been planning out what to stream after we're done with this game, and I have uh, I, I have a batch of four games set up, uh, possibly expanding that to five. Uh, we'll just have to see how things go. But yeah, all, all I'll say is that they are older games that would. Well, if some of them have had needed a bit more extra work to get working with OBS. There we go. Okay. 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 I yeah this. The charge shot is going, or <laughs> the charge shot is going to be a lot. E <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure we were out of reach of whatever that attack was. Yeah, 
problem is, of course, that it consumes that ammunition. And, of course... Legion Champion, alright! And let's just deal with all of these. Oh! oh. <laughs> and... All right, easy enough. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll, after a, a long, <laughs> a long, <clears throat> after a long line of games where, or with most of them at least, I didn't know what was going to go on. Or, and I, maybe not most, but a good half of them. And hello there. Uh, we'll be going to games where I actually know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Lindsay thinks he knows. Ow. Yeah, we definitely need something to upgrade our health or something. Okay. Yeah, we deal way too little. You know. Don't don't jump Ooh. off the ledge, war. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give him a bit of his own medicine. All right, is that enough? Yeah, it's red, so it's uh, been dealt with. Oh no. Yeah. I hope I hope the game doesn't get too grindy with that recommended uh, with the recommended bits, but we'll just have to see. And yeah, like I've said now for the th almost three times, I'm sure. We can just lower the difficulty if needed. If we yeah. even can. Oh. Yep. Oh, come on. That's a little before we even landed on it. Hmm. Hmm. Icewind Gorge. For some reason, that makes me think of Icewind Dale. You. You. I did as well! <laughs> uh, this way... And there we go. And here's the map. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Chest. Ah, here. Yeah, I overlooked it. <laughs> I guess that Red Bull isn't having uh, as much as an effect as I thought or feared it might have. Oh, well. Mm. They did give you wings. Uh, oh, wait. No, never mind. Strife always has wings. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, hello. And what little goodie do you have? A uh, purple D20? Okay. Void bomb. Create linked portals when thrown as void panels in the environment, allowing characters and items to be transferred between them. Okay, so the portal gun from a... Uh, Dishonored 2, or not the Dark Shadows 2. Let's see. Up to equip. Uh, right trigger to aim. Or not right trigger, right stick. And right trigger to throw. Alright. Hang on. My treasure sense is tingling. Treasure sense. What manner of artifact is this? It's vibrating. Feel that? There's some sort of energy trapped inside it. 
Perhaps it has something to do with these strange glyphs. Look at you, brains and brawn. Yeah, come on, we strive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, click it, not press it. And yeah, if it goes in an arc, then yeah, we can throw it over things that we wouldn't be able to throw uh, the glaive at. And there we go. Are you tingling? There's no path ahead. Damn this trickery. Slow down, bro. I'm sure there's a way forward. We just gotta use our heads. I prefer my head as a battering ram. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Uh, you mean he headbots people as a battle round without a helmet? Good chance. Well, we never saw him do it ourselves, but. Uh... Hmm. Come on, Strife, get up. Strife, eat. I. I should be pressing the, one of the trigger buttons for you to do that. So just get up. Okay. And there's more frozen imps there. Yep. And of course. And why do I get the feeling that there's going to be an avalanche? And there's a tea bag? Oh, mags, mean? No, I mean an actual one. Oh. Okay. Let's just deal with these. Uh, but yeah. A bit of hinting for the games that will follow after this game. Uh, not that I think we'll be done with it in this stream, but I think we'll probably get another two, um, maybe four out of it, uh, depending on how long things will take and how, if we're, we need to start grinding. Uh, but yeah, There's the four that I'm certain of that will come into play with it, uh, two of them are fantasy games, two of them are science fiction games. Oh. Uh, okay. Three of them are fantasy, sort of. Mm. Uh, one of them is a bit on the... Uh, a bit in between, but yeah. Okay, now this thing on its own. Okay, we can block with war, which seems to negate damage dealt. Yeah, uh, we're, I'm not. We're not taking any damage from that. It is good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, getting some yeah, tail abuse in. We, we saw that earlier due to when we did see him do that. We were well glitching out. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice to see it properly down here. Okay. This, uh... What do you want? One? Yeah, just uh, narrating what I'm doing with opening the stuff up and such. Ah. Good coin. Yeah, and I was, I was to say, I wonder how Strife will execute those things. We'll have to see next time we face one of them. But for now... Let's have a check. Teleport. Okay, we have no reason to go back there yet. And it could be a one-way trip. So, on we march. Okay. Oh, that is a bit more impressive. I was going to say two of those aren't too impressive. Oh, right, just a molten hound. 
Okay, that's one way to get a boss fight in. Are those things called hounds? Apparently, oh, yeah. Oh, the, the actual hounds with the hounds. Okay, grab that. Okay, come on, fill that bar up quick. Gillian? Yep. Yeah? He just burned one of his friends, I think. <laughs> uh, not our problem. Oop. Okay, at the very least we get some we get some resources from out those things, from the smaller things. Uh, I forgot the <laughs> slag. Uh, uh, yeah, I've already forgotten half their name. Slag something. Okay, that also that really drains the special bar as well with like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and that's one way to get rid of us. At least we don't seem to take too much damage from that. Oh, and well, now the, the sorcerer. Like, when you have like one HP left? Yep. Well, now we have zero. Okay. Pick on the small guys and get rid of the wizards. Gotta keep an eye on the big boy. It, he, I say as I almost get knocked off. Okay. At the very least, drive respawn. So we can now take care of one of these. Come on. But there'll still be two to go. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade our stuff. Okay. Okay. At the very least, we can kite them around long enough for the other horsemen to get back into the game. Uh, this is a good game balance. Yeah. It means you need to be tactical. Yeah, we're just run around in circles. That also works. I think that counts as tactical. <laughs> okay. Now that that's dealt yeah, yeah. with. I do wonder. Have you ever heard the term tactical retreat? Yeah. Oh, you have. All right, good. Okay, plant one there, and where do we plant the other one then? Uh, hmm. We need to throw a bomb through that to clear the path. Oop, coin. More glyphs, more infuriating puzzles. <laughs> yeah, war isn't exactly the, the brightest. Uh... <laughs> I don't think he's dumb since he does use strategy. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And it's not locking on. Hmm. Okay, we're lock onto that one then. No. Okay. We use the other braziers for that? Trying to lock on to one of them. But no luck. Okay. I very much doubt I'll be able to... Okay, that works. <laughs> oh, I can't even lock on to these. Okay. Odd. And how am I... Supposed to set that thing on. Hmm. 
actually, do we need to throw the uh, the glaive through the portal at it? I think so. Uh, yeah, that, that would explain why they hung a fire pit here. Yeah, there it went. Oh. And just in the corner, we see Boar fall who knows where. Okay, <laughs> luckily not to his death. Hmm. And this must be the scrying eye. This Hopefully. Must be the eye Vulgrim seeks. What do you think that floating corpse is going to do with it? Presumably help us find Lucifer. Right. Unless this thing somehow grants Volgrim unlimited power, and he uses it to enslave the universe. Your imagination is exhausting. Hey, it could happen. I doubt it would happen. Okay. And we can't just bail out like this. Okay, that was pretty short. Short but sweet. Not everything has to be a half-hour deep dive. Yeah. A new void path has been unlocked. Okay. And let's bring this over and see what power level we need for the next. Yes, it's beautiful. Capable of peering through dimensions to find what does not wish to be found. Uh, you need some alone time with that orb, Vulgrim? <laughs> <laughs> he better not go spy on uh, Fury with that thing because she would move heaven and hell to get at him and shove his own horse at his ass. Able to track Lucifer. Let me begin the incantation. Uh, ah, you made it. Forgive my tardiness. I had some cleaning up to do. Summer. Whatever scheme you've been preparing, it ends now. Tell us what you know, or suffer my blade. I am in no condition to fight you, horseman. And as I have already told you, I've nothing to do with Lucifer's plan. I trust my associate, Volgrim, has been accommodating in my absence. I'm trying to get a bit of a closer look at his model, but I, I'm not sure if his mo if his horn, if his horns on the uh, side view and the 3D model actually match up or not. I'm sure and, as well. Yes, <laughs> sudden surprise visit. If by accommodating <laughs> you mean sending us to every corner in hell, risking our lives for some shiny rocks, then yeah. Hush. The eye has found traces of Lucifer's dark essence. It appears he has paid a visit to the demon Mammon. Mammon? Lucifer conspires with Hell's masters? Wasn't he supposed to be one of Hell's masters or something? Or is, does this mean that his masters are conspiring together? Hmm. Oh. That bloated maggot. Why don't you horsemen go knock on his door? Perhaps cave his head in for me? We're not your errand boy, Samael. We serve only the council. Speaking of the council, the uh, last time they sounded a lot different than they did in the other games. A lot less gravelly. I, I could still identify one of their voices. But yeah, they were a lot less filtered out. Maybe it's before they got corrupted? Yeah. I will help you find the other masters. If they have joined Lucifer's plot, then binding them would serve us both. Begin with Mammon. Uh, then again, it wasn't it wasn't uh, just the influence of the seven sins that uh, drove them mad. They were basic, basically a small bit of a spoiler here, or a bit of a big spoiler here for what we missed in Dark Souls Three. So anyone else just skip around until... Uh, I'll just keep my head turned while I talk about this. If we assume my head turned back, that's when the spoiler talk will be done. 
Uh, basically, if if we'd continued down, uh, if we'd continued exploring in the void, I believe we would have found, uh, yeah, we would have run into the King of Hollows again, and we could choose to fight him or spare him, uh, on behalf of a different uh, demon, which we could fight in instead. Then I'm not entirely sure. I've only I didn't see gameplay on the cutscenes. Uh, but yeah, if we'd spare near him, he would the King of Hollow. Uh, the King of Hollows, I believe it actually was, uh, he would reveal that he was part of the uh, Chart Council at one point, uh, but that he grew uh, dis he grew disillusioned with it because yeah they ev eventually they stopped police they stopped seeking balance, and instead just focused on policing heaven and hell and fortifying their own position of power. So yeah, they were. They were already being corrupted by their own sins, and the Seven breaking free during the apocalypse just uh, gave it an extra kick under their uh, stony asses. So, yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> and, and spoiler time, so let's continue. We keep this temporary alliance until we unravel Lucifer's plot. Not a moment longer. I get the feeling Samuel is going to stab us in the back with this, because, yeah, he is that kind. He has helped us in the past, but mostly for his own, uh, yeah, for his own goals as well. <laughs> of course. So I think the moment that Lucifer, <clears throat> pardon, I think the moment that Lucifer is vulnerable, he's going to try and take over his little uh, hustle. Good hunting horseman, I'll be in touch. Okay, anything else to say? Ah, yep. the horseman returned. Okay, this, I should have expected that he'd be selling stuff as well. <laughs> Let's see. We missed these completely. Conqueror's Hearthstone Shard. Three to increase maximum health. And then the Outlaw's Hearthstone Shard. Uh, yeah, let's buy these. Many great things for so few souls. Yeah, they, we should have been... We probably we completely missed those in the levels. Yeah, this probably is what we need to make ourselves stronger. Let's see, another 26 for so two more. So few wears. And that's all of those that we can buy at the moment. I presume we missed... Yeah, we completely missed all of those somewhere. Oh, potion uses plus one. Potion health overflow. Uh, convert extra health orbs into overflow. When the overflow is filled, it will grant a potion. Okay, nice. All right. Passive health regen, always nice as well. Let's deal. Slowly regain a portion of the inactive character's damaged health pool. Okay, so not for the one currently busy, but it's still going to be useful when they tag out. And yeah, more healing uses is always good. Yeah. Hey, there's really something. They mm -hmm. can't pull them a floating corpse. Uh, we have never seen his legs, I believe. Yeah, no, we do know that that they have said the uh, yeah resurrecting. More souls, delicious, delicious souls. Uh, uh, right, that's what I'm saying. We do know that um, they have said the, the resurrection of demons, angels into undead was an abomination and such. The question is, is Vulcan supposed to be a demonic lich? Uh, it, I think it was more just uh, a slight at his uh, appearance. Yeah, it's, uh, probably. Him being rather skeletal. Yeah, that's probably it too. He does see. He does seem to wear clothing that's not meant to fit him. Let's see. Enhancement chain. Chaining an enhancement attack after a full combo will do a level 2 charge instantly. Enhancements that don't have a charge time will execute with increased power. Okay. 
And the flip saw. Hmm. Yeah, these do add up to their power. Always down to D. Hmm. Oh, the she and Volgrim, it, it, it feels like they, they, they become a reference to something. Let's see. The Horde. Lucifer has made a deal with the demon master Mammon. The horseman traveled to his treasure vault to find out what he knows. And... Yeah, we are far underpowered for this. Let's see. Upgrades 2 of 7. Hmm... We saw one of those doors in one of the levels. I forget which. But yeah, we've been missing a hell of a lot of upgrades. Hmm. No, so with course... new spells and such, it should be easier to grab yeah, we... those now. Yeah, I presume that some would be hidden behind the uh, yeah, abilities that we only unlock later. But I don't want to start backtracking uh, just for that. Since we are mostly still, uh, we mostly stream for story, after all. So, yeah. Yeah, hmm. some back I can be acceptable towards, even on a stream, depending on how much back it can, of course, one needs to do. Let's see, is there anything on difficulty? Territorials, yes. Horse HUD. Hmm. I, I don't, I don't actually recall if we saw something about difficulty at any point. Uh, I think we saw it when you get, got to pick, uh, pick when you were to start, but that's it. Okay, it would be a bit odd that we wouldn't be able to swap back, like, uh, uh like in Dark Souls Three, since this came out after. Then again, there's a good chance that this game was made by a different team. Because, yeah, the small the small time window between. So I find it a bit... Yeah, I don't think this game w would have been made in a single year. So they probably had two things going at the same time. What Maybe have they we... were working on both at the same time? And of course he made himself a freaking throne room. <laughs> Yeah, that, that still would have split the team. Uh, nothing to talk about. Yeah. Okay. That could... That could explain a few oddities uh, with uh, the third game. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll just have to try, at the very least. Um, oh. Okay, so we have to... Cl we have to claim these. Let's see. Um, journal. Okay. Chart Council, Strife, War. Okay, Fury and Death. We can take a look through these eventually, but for now, uh, yeah, we should focus on moving forward. Because we still have a full hour to go. Even if we are severely underpowered for this. Hmm. Well, we probably should start keeping our, our eyes peeled. Mamon's fault is a short ride from here. Can't blame the guy for stashing his hoard in the middle of nowhere. The demon is obsessed with material riches. <laughs> Wealth is nothing more than a prison. Come on. Don't you ever want to take a little slice for yourself? We are trusted to uphold the balance. That honor is payment enough. If you ask me, upholding the balance usually leaves us high and dry. Ours is a righteous cause. Is that why we're working with Samael behind the council's back? Our situation is complicated. The sooner we settle these affairs, the better. War. Good soldier gone rogue. Relax and you might enjoy it. Okay, just deal with these. Uh, yeah, if need be, I'll just uh, grind off screen uh, to get extra upgrades for health and such. Yeah, no, the only thing I worry about that you do that is we might miss story. Since mm. we do know they talk about uh, now and then. 
Yeah, I, I think the stuff uh, for the upgrades would be more out of, out of the way. And yeah, we did get most of the story of from the place already. But I'll I'll keep it. I'll keep uh, yeah. I'll keep OBS running to record it uh, whilst I'm doing with that. And yeah, if there does if something does pop up, I'll just cut that out. If nothing does, if nothing does, I'll just delete it. All right. Okay. I can't really tell if the decoy does it deals any damage or not. Are we going for a desert to the icy desert? Yeah. See? Hardly worth the ammo. Uh, yes, I think I said it before, people. The biggest desert on the planet is in Antarctica. Yeah, an ice desert. Yes, I believe the classification for desert actually depends on uh, whether or not there is rainfall. Yeah, like it does rain and snow in the desert, or it's. No, snow in the desert is very rare and only at night. Yeah, because as for as scorching hot as deserts are during the night, they tend to actually freeze. Yeah, this is why many people know mountain sites. And then most desert culture wear robes, special robes that can handle the heat and handle the cold. Yeah. It sounds a it sounds a bit like a contradiction, but it actually does work. But yeah, oh, yeah. the the reason I believe the reason that is why uh, why deserts freeze overnight is because. Uh, it's because uh, because there is so little water in deserts, there isn't enough water vapor that uh, turns into clouds, which would then... Oh, ah, that was not what I wanted to do. I didn't even notice the freaking dog. Uh, yeah, there's too little... Oh, come on, <laughs> it made things worse for myself. Too little water for cloud coverage. So, yeah, during the night... Yeah, you know, none of the heat of you know, that get none of the heat gets uh, trapped overnight by the clouds. Yeah, because that that is one thing that clouds do: uh, reflect the you know, reflect slash trap the the heat of the planet. So yeah, no clouds uh, is a lot means a lot colder during the night. Uh, come on. Very true. No okay, need a quick swap, so strike and heal. And yeah, I can say that that's definitely a little snow in an ice desert. So yeah, that, that that snow has likely been there for a very really long time. Yeah. And since we failed the mission by killing too many of these hunt dogs before we got to a uh, Houndmaster mini boss or full boss or something. Oh well. Hmm. Okay. We need to clear this place out before we can do whatever we need. Well, we need obvious. Actually, can I get it from over here? Because these <laughs> the dogs can't climb. Oh, come on, just out of range. Hey, it's uh, a bomb. Remember? Yeah, it's one of those void bombs. Uh, yeah, I, I think. I'm guessing we need a, a direct hit with it so, to make the Listen. portal. Let's test to see if we do. Okay, back up here. Yeah, it needs to be a direct hit. 
And there we go, just about. No, we, now we just need to find some place where, yeah, there's bombs. Dogos. Really? That does, but this <laughs> it certainly didn't help us. Uh, I'm guessing we could use that to lock some of the dogs away. These hounds, Ooh. they're hungry, savage. They're being purposefully starved, ready for battle. Loathsome. Stay alert. The master can't be far. Okay, yeah, we've got a bit of a dog problem now. Wait, it survived loosely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't sleep. And just because it deals more damage doesn't mean that it'll be an instant kill damage. I should move. I should probably move the <laughs> the buttons around for that. Okay, come on. Yep, no. still got caught. Okay, and these two should be. Yep, they're low enough health. Yep. Okay. The dog went into the wall, and of course. Okay. Oh, we know where we can find the bombs. And okay. Let's chuck that over there. Um, actually, we kind of need a direct line of sight on that. Uh, wait, what? No. Never mind. We can just walk over. Or, or not? You forgot that, didn't you? Yeah, they hadn't exploded on me so far without getting hit, at least. Okay. Alright, then we just go through one end. Uh, open up the gate there, and then we throw it through. There we go. Okay, that took a bit. I'm uh, gonna be worried there, but I had a feeling already prepared. And there we go. Fresh meat for the pack. <clears throat> Fresh oh. meat for the pack. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Oh, well, just keep dodging the dogs. And we should be fine. If we don't get ambushed at, at the chest. Okay, sealed gates. So, where is... Go oh, hello. Fresh meat for the hounds. Hmm. Feast, my hounds! Yeah, these things really do a lot of damage. And, yeah. Case in point. And yeah, we are definitely underpowered for this. Yes, yes, we've seen this already. And okay, I'm checking the up the right side. Yeah, huh? there's three hard stones here. Okay, yeah. Okay, who wants 
Okay, maybe we can keep... No, he is just going to run in. No. Oh, come on, you hit me in the middle of the air there. Okay, then... Get into the middle. And then I can at least deal with some of the dogs. And which should make this easier for us. Nope. Oh, come on. Wait. Okay, I, I got distracted there for a second. Because I was actually looking at whatever achievement there it was. What task they were speaking of. To get 1 million souls or something. Or 100,000 souls. Before the end of the yeah. level or something. Okay, at least we stayed long. Okay, I get the feeling the stupid dogs are just going to keep continuously spawning whilst he is still alive. At, at least they're in lesser numbers now. Wait for Strive to respawn. Nope. And swap. Have we used the, the Havoc form of uh, Strife? Yeah, we don't have Havoc you know, or Chaos form in this. Wait, what? Yep. If we do, I, I haven't seen any indication of it. Maybe they skipped it on this one due to... ...how little it was used in other games? Uh, more that it would be... Possibly overpowered with two characters being able to do it at the same time. Uh, possibly. Hellhounds. Oop. Up. Okay. He, he tracked me longer there than I expected. Okay. Yeah, that actually doesn't interrupt him, so that was a bad idea. Hmm. Yep. See, luckily, we're invincible during that. So that buys us a little bit of time. Okay, yeah, we're... We, def we definitely... Oh. We definitely need to power these guys up a lot more. Mm. And, yeah, now we're back at zero. Mm. Is there really nothing here about difficulty? I did see a boat mission. Mm. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just have to check if if there even is the ability to change uh, the difficulty. <laughs> yeah, I, if we fail this again, we're going to reset or leave. <clears throat> To try and yeah, try and see if we can lower difficulty. Yep. Got to keep distance from him, and yeah, we can't just walk, run past him to deal with this. Heck. Why couldn't I jump there? Okay. At least it's only one freaking dog at the moment, and let's hope he doesn't summon them back too quickly. Yep, yeah, of course. Yep. 
Yeah, we are far underpowered for this. Uh, nope. Okay, yeah, that still hurts. Mm. Yeah, that, this this is just annoying that you need to upgrade your stuff and that you can't just uh, go through. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. This gives me a bit of a feeling that we might, that the game is trying to force you to grind or something. Or to just fully have, like, explore everything before reward. you're moving on. Yeah, that, as I said, they, they also are giving you daily rewards. Um, I didn't. You collected them earlier. Yeah, I don't think those were not dailies. These were just quests. Oh, quests. Oops. My bad. Hmm. Okay. Is there yeah. anywhere now that we can change things around? No. Uh, anything on the main menu? Progress will be saved, yeah. Uh, options. Sounds, no. Uh, let's activate that, just to make it easier. Um, still nothing here then? Hmm. Yeah, it. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's. We can't change around the the difficulty. We get. Yeah, it, it looks like it doesn't even give the option to select the difficulty. Just doing this to check if there is the option. Yeah, hmm. I feel like we were able to pick one. I'll just see here. Just skip past. Samael's fortress is under Cal's but Yep, no choice. Okay. Okay, that that is just That is just frustratingly annoying. Like in the first Dark Souls we all actually I don't I don't remember now if uh, there was the option to choose a difficulty in the first Dark Siders. It was. Okay, then it just feels stupid as to why there is no option for difficulty in this one. Though, in the other ones, you were not really... Hmm. Well, the only one you were able to grind levels was for the second game. Hmm. Let, me, let me make a quick look around with Google. Because, yeah, if if it means that this would basically force us to grind back the old, grind the old levels, it would really be annoying, a nuisance. So let's see, Dark Siders Genesis difficulty change. Uh, wait. Hold on. Let's see. To change the difficulty in Dark Souls Genesis, when starting a mission in the void... Okay... Um... Wait, uh, I think I know what's going on. We missed there was a diff level difficulty option here, didn't we? Uh, up there in the upper right. Change difficulty. Ah. Ah. Okay, ah. casual. And yeah, that drops the power a lot. Still puts us under level, but a lot less under leveled. Okay, that that'll make things well a lot easier. It also means if we want to go back to the older levels, it'd be easier too. Yeah. The guy for stashing his hoard in the middle of nowhere. But um, material riches. I'll do that off screen if it is need if it does turn out to be needed. Don't you ever want to take a little slice for yourself? We are trusted to uphold the balance. That honor is payment enough. If you ask me, upholding the balance usually leaves us high and dry. Ours is a righteous cause. Is that why we're working with Samael behind the council's back? Our situation is complicated. The sooner we settle these affairs, the better. 
war. Good soldier gone rogue. Relax and you might enjoy it. Okay, now we just need to find that uh, that shortcut again. Or well, the sneaky way in. So yeah, I've. I'm actually I already drawn a blank on what dif what direction we went earlier. Mostly because we were just following the corpses. Or well, we were following the bodies that were attacking us, which we then promptly turn into corpses. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that. The, uh, the upgraded version of the basic shot isn't really that impressive. Hmm. Okay, where was that? Over there? Let's see. Oop, coin. Yep. <laughs> And of course. I mean, was just to say you hate to tail you, but uh, you flipped yourself for me. Yeah. Wait, no. I just realized that that could be taken out of context. This was not a curvy contest, just a rude one. And again, I I really doubt Alien would ever give me the middle finger. <laughs> uh, at least, uh, <clears throat> if I were, it would be in a more in a playful manner. Oh, wrong button. Oh, still dodge. Like, yes. Yeah. Still a tough pair. And I think it was this way that we went earlier. I think so. Yeah, this looks familiar. It looks like a shortcut. We can get a jump on the guards at the gate. Yeah, we, we can do better than get the jump on the guards. We can just complete skip them. Why can't I stand there? Or do we... Okay, the XP. But we, man we managed to stand on those stones earlier. Why not this time? Oh well. Let's get in and get this over with. Hmm. That's a lot of cages. And yeah, this time let's avoid opening them. Or drawing too much attention to ourselves. Actually, let's These see if we can. Being purposefully starved, readied for battle. Loathsome. Stay alert. The master can't be far. Let's try and lure all of these into here then. Or at least as many as we can. Okay, they seem to lose interest pretty quickly. Oh, no, there comes one more. Or <laughs> they just get stuck behind things. Okay. And uh, then we would have quickly exited if it wasn't for the stupid dogs. And now we have a bit of a dilemma. Yeah. Okay. Oh, can we? Wait. What? It automatically unlocks? That's a bit of a bad lock. Okay. We can just still keep running for the most part. Actually, not for much longer since we need to... We don't need to tickle the dog at range. Wait, can't we just skin them from above here? Uh, yeah, but it would still take an annoyingly long time, so... Yep, miss. Rich! Come on. Bad dog. There we go. Just move one. Come on. 
Carefully moving it now. That should hit. Okay, come on, game. Ugh. If your cursor shows that it's going to hit, make it actually hit as well then. Okay. Uh, we have one little problem now, though, and that is that, yeah, they're coming at us over here. I'll look. You know what we need? Uh, uh, grenades. Dog biscuits. <laughs> oh, that too. Oh, wait, yeah. Dog biscuit covered grenades. <laughs> is there anywhere we can stand here? But I just realized, don't war have a AOA attack for you even? Yeah, oh, come on, the stupid dog do dove into the wall to hit us there. But yeah, he has. Uh... Okay, what Wait, the hell is what? with these hitboxes on these attacks? Hmm. Yeah, this game is really starting to annoy me now. Just... We can kill Ooh. them all. There we go. Yeah, we should do that earlier. <laughs> now, I was trying to avoid to do it mostly for the, the challenge to get some extra souls and such, but yeah, screw that. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's they yeah, it's been downgraded to casual, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy on us. It, Okay. Strife practicing his own telekinesis, I see. Uh, I, come on. Okay. Something uh, went um, wrong there. Yeah. Check that out. Fresh meat for the pack. Shut up. And probably better now we, if we just kill it, every one of the dogs here so they don't butt in on the fight. Okay. Let's try not to free any more of them. Hmm. Yeah. I... It is still a bit early to say, but so I'm. I'd say so far that this one is being this. Uh, yeah, this game is being the least impressive in the series. And what is with that glow underneath them? But it's not at all good, baby. Very. It is very humorous and all that. Yep. And yeah, it probably also doesn't help much that I'm not very good with isometric combat games. Or at least ones that uh, go a bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah I, I would call this one a traditional isometric game. Pardon? Because many games like this don't have jump and wall climbing. And yeah, he just starts off with five of the freaking things. And I guess, but the, I guess there are some isometric games that do have wall climbing and such. Just not in the way like this game does that. I'm aware. Yeah. It, they still deal a lot of damage. Yep. Mm. I'm not going to quit midstream, but yeah, this is starting to annoy me more and more. Feast, my house. Feast. 
because it feels a lot... Can we just... No, we... Of course, we can't just hide on top of the cages. There's hidden invisible walls there. Shut up, you! Screw you and your fucking dogs. It's not the time to be picking up extra spits, war. Ugh. Shut up. Okay, at least he seems to be spawning in smaller ver uh, versions. Still, the, the amount of damage being dealt here. Right. Yeah. Um, unnecessarily brutal. Yeah, the, the thing that annoys me the most, I'd say, is... Mm, the, re the minimal power requirements. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's pretty freaking clear that a different team made these, I'd say. Uh. Beast. Okay, who wants to learn to play dead? Beast on their okay, we still have half an hour. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm guessing the dogs glitched out, which is all the better for us. So just fuck you, fuck your dogs, and fuck the require the minimum power stuff. In the case of you. Wait, he does seem to get a little bit stunned when you attack him occasionally. So maybe you interrupt him. Nope. Shut up. There. Should have picked easier prey. I take no pleasure in these beasts. Their master. Yeah. Too easily. Oh, shut it, war. Shut it. <sighs> yeah, I I'm going to have to grind off screen to keep up the power. Uh, or, yeah, the power level up. It would be the easiest way to call it. <sighs> I guess we have to see if there was the same tier or different tier that made this game. Now, what I mean is the same developer likely, yes, but different people. The mm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, come on. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, now, now I don't really have much to talk about because now I'm just freaking annoyed. But it's... Uh, the, the writing so far has been you know, very good, but yeah, if just playing minimum uh, power requirements to keep up with the, the leveling of the game. Yeah, just no, just to have. Mm. Like it. Shut up, you. Okay, they can actually hit the, each other, it seems. Definitely something we can use against them. This is just a dead end. Shut up. And whilst they're wasting their time here, we can go around. And get you know, kicked off our horse like, already. 
Maybe you want to lure him into that. Actually, where the hell do we even want to go now? We. Uh, wait. We need to kill the bull split uh, splitter, but why? We have no reason to. Unless he has a key. Yeah. So, the ex red barrel wall looked very interesting to lure me into. <sighs> yeah, I, I might just be getting overly annoyed with all of this, but this game is very quickly dropping in, in my opinion. Yeah, it had a good start, but then, yeah, the... I agree that if a good the curve really amped up a bit too quickly. Like the other games had that as well by just having and eventually stronger enemies pop up, but this there was just by uh, yep all norm older enemies would not just get stronger along. This feels a lot more like they're trying to play this like a Diablo or something. Yeah, a bit which more Which I don't think core. fits with Darksiders. I think if it's more hardcore than in Diablo, it might be a bit more what they aimed for. If you play Diablo 3 for the first time, it's really easy. Shut the fuck up. Ugh. Yeah. I'll just have to see what to do about this because this just really wants me, uh, makes me not want to play this game. It's going to force me to backtrack uh, and grind for shit. I'm just not playing. I'm just playing, not enjoying this now at the moment. Again, could just be because I'm getting frustrated because of the stupid uh, bit before, or the fact that, yeah, grinding is going to be required. What the hell? Plus, it it was the other games had it as well. That's. Uh, Enemies were being were being a bit bullet spongy, but this is just. Do we even need to say anything? Yeah. Again, this game started out well, but now it's on its face rather. It's falling apart at the seams. Where the hell was that? Okay. Over this way, I presume. Ugh. Like uh, the other games, the enemies. Guess my mom's been bringing a lot of loot down here. Ah, oh, yeah, we came here for loot. Now, how the hell do we even trigger this thing then? Oh, B. In the the other games. Enemies were a bit bullet spongy. Well, we we're pretty bullet spongy as well, but yeah, the difficulty curve with those was a lot better. You could, uh, maybe I'm just complaining to complain at this moment, but yeah, this game is quickly uh, sinking. The coward must be hiding down here. Let us find him and see what he knows. You think he's just gonna spill it? One way or another. Let's just hope we can end this quickly. Of course.
Hmm. It, it could also just be. It could perhaps also be that the entire game is balanced around, well, two players being active. Uh, I I think I've seen that. Yeah. We, I saw that when I originally played Orcs Must Die 2, it, it felt like the game was completely balanced about two players being active at the same time. It could be the same here. Very possibly. And if they did this game in basically under one year, it could explain a lot what is falling apart. Uh, again, I very much doubt that. I, what I get, I get the feeling they had two teams working separately at the same time. One was working on Dark Souls 3, one was working on this one. Mostly what is driving me on now is whatever story bits we're getting. Last person I'd expect to be that because he, he his arm is missing or his arm was cut off okay yeah the banter and whatever story is going on that is what's pressing me forward now at the moment because the gameplay is losing me quickly Face judgment. Ugh. okay Let's hope Wait. for now that this was just uh, a badly pro a badly planned difficulty spike or something, and just move on. Yeah, at least we, we found out how we get into casual now. Right. So how do we need to unlock this thing then? Just keep killing things or do we need to actually find something? Shut up. The other games the enemies at least didn't talk. Hmm. They almost did talk but not as much. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Game not responding as well there. So, yeah, I... It, it definitely feels like something has gone wrong during development. Or maybe during the porting process or something. Because I was pressing the freaking B button uh, there. And still it did not do... But now it does. What? Why? Why now? Why not? not uh, Not saying that the game is bad so far, it's just that it's showing a lot more faults than the previous ones. Ugh. Okay, now how do we do this? Let's see. Collect vault seals. The vault seals are not shown, but probably just off to the sides then. Okay, that was completely un... Well, not completely unneeded, but... Mm. You know what? Screw all of you. Let okay, I'm guessing these... Point. Yep. Uh -oh. Middle of his body for you. Go. Hmm. Uh, oh. uh, 
Oh, help me, help. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Yeah, it... Uh, tomorrow I'll go through... The... Tomorrow I'll go through the previous levels, just find as many upgrades as I can. I'll, you need, I'll use a freaking guide if need be. And just make... The, uh, make the horseman as strong as possible so we have to deal the least amount with this sort of bullshit. Yeah, it might be a good idea. I suspect they did it to expand the game length mm. or so far we actually just yeah we just stormed through the earlier levels quite quickly Dark Souls 2 also had RPG you know, progression, but that was a lot more uh, was a lot more balanced because we got a lot more equipment from everything. So we grew along with the enemies that we killed. And here, yeah, we we get souls from them, which we can use to up by upgrade. But it costs a lot more. The RP. We upgrade ourselves a lot slower than the difficulty seems to be going up here. Nope, yeah, but if you had a normal, least. if you had a normal level system like Dark Souls 2, this could be a bit more easier uh, experience, yeah. perhaps. But yeah, of course they up, they lock our health upgrades and such behind upgrade currency you find randomly in, in other levels. Oh. Okay, not randomly, but you need to find them. And yeah, in the previous games, those were also uh, some of them were hidden, but uh, a bunch um, could just be found along your path, and we haven't had that happen here. Um, not by much. Okay. Oh yeah, so far this... Actually, do we have any use of those? We know we get... Really? You did... Okay, oh, what have we on. here? The game could have easily pointed us to this. Wait. Let's see. Creature they, corn it me. has... It did mention that some of the core you got gave you a health upgrade, but I think we mistook the thought we got it automatically. Yeah, it because it didn't say that it, they needed to be slotted into things. Yeah, that, that's that's a game yeah, oversight. This is just bad design. So easily saying, this game is going at the bottom of the uh, pile in the ratings, I'd say. Okay, creature cores that you collect from enemies and Volgrim can be slotted to activate you know, unique augmentations that boost stats and abilities for both strive and war. And um, yeah, if 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 the both of us just overlooked this and that it was pointed out, then that's on us. But yeah, nothing said that we had to use these to fill in slots and such. At least as far as I could see. Okay. Two types of minor uh, creature cores. Minor, which drop from small enemies, and major, which drop from elites and bosses. The effects of a creature core can vary, but you will generally get the biggest bonus. For you. Okay, select the glowing key slot. This slot will power all connected slots and cores. When you select the slot, you will open up the creature core list and are able to view available, co <coughs> available cores as well as the selected slot information. All cores fall into one of three categories, attack, wrath, or health. If you match the creature core category with the selected slot, you will get a matching bonus, which increases the corresponding stat on both uh, strife and war while that core is active. Okay. The key slot and a few others are wild, so any creature core placed will guarantee a matching bonus. Okay. 
As you collect creature cores from the same enemy type, they will accumulate and eventually level up, uh, unlocking powered up effects. Okay. This explains why we've been struggling. Yeah. They, it should have pointed to, uh, to this immediately after we uh, we finished a level or something. Yeah. D just it, have a tutorial it, pop up about this. Yeah, like, it's a good design still. Problem is, they didn't mention it. Yeah, if if the way, if the best way to strengthen your characters isn't pointed out by the game, or at, again, it didn't seem to get pointed out to us, then it's just bad design. So yeah, I get the fe I, I get the feeling that this game might have been made by an understaffed crew, or that they had too much of a too close of a deadline. But that's speculation for now. Let's just keep going with this. Yeah, at least we found a way to at least move through the experience a bit better now. Okay. At least we found this out now instead of late, a few streams later. Yeah. Okay. When a core is slotted and active, the connecting slots will become powered. Activating creature cores and powered slots will continue the chain, allowing you to greatly enhance your. So basically, it's it's a skill uh, web. Uh, okay, we can remove them. That is also nice. Okay, removing a core also removes power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never lose the creature cores you have collected. Okay. No. Uh, that's good. We can put a maximum of a level three one in here. We, that's next to that's between the wild type and the uh, the equip uh, <clears throat> notification. So let's see. Attack two percent attack power. Okay, it isn't much, but it is something. Uh, requires a minor creature core. Grants up one level slot core power. Wrath pa bonus uh, passive. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's go for attack power mostly. Molten Hound. Yeah, I see you're all getting stronger now. Ross. Already by a lot, actually. The mag explosions have a 25 seconds. And here we have health. Yeah, this is this is stacking up quickly. Uh, Legion. Static cones will taunt enemies. Blade Geyser will gain a 5% uh, percent at Attack bonus for fun. Okay. And yeah, that's going to give a lot of health. And even more from that being equipped. And what is that? That's Wrath. Okay. Uh, we mostly want health at the moment. Uh, and uh, again, I'm glad we found this out now. Instead yeah. of few streams later. This is a rather small web as well. Okay. Mm. Let's do that. And that. And then two there. And that's all of the things that we have. Okay. St still not that big of a bonus, actually, but it has well, boosted things up. Well, it, it did recommend power level was 170. Strength is 160 and war is 184. Uh, actually, let's remove that one and put one here because we have another big one. And pull that one out and put it there. And there we go. Now we have all of them used, and now we we have a actual big boost in it. Okay, this should make things a lot easier, but the game should have pointed that out to us a lot earlier. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised if I missed that during installation moment. Or yeah, it, it didn't mention like it didn't mention when we first got the big one again that. Oh, 5% health bonus. So, by then, I assumed it was automatically equipped. Yeah. For some reason, and I, now I think about it, it's probably what's stupid of me to think that, since... Mm. But I think usually when a game has a core thing, like this, like it looks like gems, 
It would make sense it to be used for something instead of automatically applied. Yeah, but they they should have they should have drawn more direct attention to that. So it, again, it could be just we just that we just overlooked something big. But yeah. Still, and we can just sneak around. Then again, he's not fussing us about dog <laughs> side, so I think we should know of what we do know of. They don't really hold your hand. True, but they at least explained our systems. Yeah, my 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 major point is they should have uh, they should have brought this up at you know, Volgrims to point it out. Yeah, um, they should have. Is... Okay, we but have. I, I, yeah. I would probably know about it if I watch more videos of this game, but I decided to watch one video just to not spoil myself. Okay, that one's not active. Hmm. But I do feel like if I had watched at least two more episodes, I would have known of this system. <laughs> okay, but how do we light that? We don't have any fire nearby. Yeah, hmm. so I don't smoke. And yeah, that chest, it just damaged us, so... Yeah. Wait. It was a trap chest. Yep. Oh, come on. Okay. Hmm. I never like trap chest in games. Like, yeah. I get the point of it. But I do feel like in some games yeah. do it poorly. Okay, there we go, Ward. Just grab on. <sighs> okay, again, let's just try and put it aside. Uh, drop down. Okay. Now, are we going to fight fire here or something? Some other way to set off the explosive? Then, then again, it it was only blocking off uh, the the trap chest. So why would we even need to destroy it if we can just? Go into here where likely one of those seals is. And I just realized what if we have to stop in the middle this can't be here. of a, a mission? I guess we'll find out because we have seven minutes left. Mm -hmm. What troubles you? Nothing. Just some old junk. Are you talking about the sarcophagus? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Drop it, okay? We should find something to kill. Okay. Speak of the devil. What scares strife? Hmm. Okay, I saw B pop up. I pressed B. There we go. Okay. Just deal with these things. We, we are stronger now, but. Not to the point oh, that this is just going to be a cakewalk, so we still need to be careful. Yeah, at least they're not cakewalking us over. Also, we should probably use the freaking potions that we have. Are you telling me oh, hello. potions? Skeletons. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Now, how does War deal with these? Rhine of Avarice. Wait, are we gonna be greed? Mm. I find that doubtful because greed should still be locked up. This demon here is really addicted to gold. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we can't bring up our... <clears throat> we can't call in our horse here. Probably because it's indoors. So we'll just have to keep walking around. Um, I hope we can save in the middle of a mission. And again, a trap. 
Yeah, I, I guess it makes some sort of sense to have a trap chest in the middle of your treasure hoard to, well, catch thieves. Hmm. Well, yeah. You, I usually prefer, like, if you're gonna have trap chests, at least have something that can hint it's a trap, like... Like, if you're hmm. too eager, you may miss it. But if you're careful, you may spurt and see, aha, that's a trap one. Yeah. But then you make them yeah. possible to differentiate from each other, then yeah. What do you make of that pedestal? Yeah. Gotta do something for it. Likely it's a trap. Ugh, you've always gotta be a downer. Look on the bright side for once, brother. We got lucky. And there's the trap. Yep, that definitely was a trap. In the world is a dark and terrible place. Okay, yeah, that that does brighten things up a bit. Just the banter of these two. Uh, okay, so I won't need to. I won't need to start grinding. I might still do it a bit to get more health for these two. And uh, bye bye. Yeah, at least the grinding should be easier now. Okay. Okay, this is all help. Okay, it, oh, it was only father. And the freaking mate showed up. Yeah, I don't have to kill any of these, so I can just keep going and going. Come on. Like, I know in s we have to fight quite a bit in the other games, but this is getting a bit ridiculous with how many they throw at us. And there's something... Hi is there something hidden down there? There's an odd crystal. It's probably blocking something. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay. For a moment I was thinking the hell is that supposed to do? Hmm. Remember, Action. we need to kill these for the cores. Uh, for upgrading the cores. You're never quiet. Maybe I just got nothing to say. You found something among the horde. There are things. Things from before. When the world made more sense. You must erase what came before. Remember your duty. Do you even feel anything anymore? Strife. You are distracted. Steal yourself and let's keep moving. You're right. No more distractions. Okay. The freaking homing. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, just get across. Uh, but yeah, killing these enemies. Mostly would just be for upgrading, which would be useful, of course. Ooh. Uh, but for the rest, I'd say we'd mostly want to go after uh, newer enemies that we don't have the cores off, so we can put more into the network. The web, whatever. Uh, Okay, I'm going to finish these off just because this little isn't has been following us the entire time. There we go. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, that's why these are here. So we can get healed up. But for now, let's just... Actually, that's a, that would be... Okay, it didn't trigger because we are at full health. I was kind of expecting that it would uh, heal war instead. Okay, but that's the two-hour mark. Now... Uh, yeah, kill the Home Master. Perhaps? Actually, yeah, if we click main mm. menu, maybe it will tell us. 
Quit current game session and return to menu. Progress will be saved. Hopefully that means you'll be starting here and the abandoned mission is only if you stop. Let's test it out. And what happens when we press continue? If this puts us back at the start of the mission, then that's going to be a, a big... An, yeah, that's going to be a big point against it. If this puts us back to where we were about... Uh, okay, it puts us back about where we are. Okay, that is good to know. Good to know it has a sort of checkpoint. Yeah, if they if they didn't have checkpoints in it, then yeah, that would have... <laughs> Uh, then we definitely would have had to adapt how we do this because, yeah, we wouldn't know if we could stop in the middle of a mission. Or, well, if we couldn't stop in the middle of a mission, then we'd have to yeah, do both longer and shorter streams just to fit a le one level in each stream. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's come, come, come. First stream, we went four chapters. Yeah, now we got stuck on one now almost yeah hmm. all right again i was probably a bit too frustrated with this game and yeah I, also for the third fourth or fifth time now if it did point out the uh, point core system at one point uh, and we just missed it then that's just on us otherwise yeah, I'd count it as bad design for not pointing it out toward, not pointing us towards it. Yeah. Uh, we're still going to continue with this game because we started with it, and it, you know, it isn't completely terrible. It, it was, it was just terrible for a bit because, yeah, we were vastly underpowered, <laughs> and yeah, you can only bash your head against a rock so many times before you just get freaking annoyed with it, which is also why I'll probably never stream any Dark Souls games, because I like my forehead the way it is. I yeah, don't need it any flatter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dark Souls story is probably a bit more harder to follow for us, as you basically need to look for it. Yeah, and you need to decipher it. You basically need to go oh, uh, all math pad on it. Yeah. <sighs> but, yeah. Uh... Saturday, I, we sh I should be more than cooled off. And then we'll be continuing with Monkey Island. And yeah, showcase Sunday on, well, of course, Sunday. And yep. yeah, then next week we'll be continuing with this now that we actually know how to freaking play uh, the game. <laughs> yeah, again, I'm glad we found this out now and not like five. 10 streams later. Yeah, I, I think I've had that happen at least once or twice with games where they just did not explain things that were pretty much necessary. Uh. Yeah, or they were so extreme vague that you it didn't pick up on what they meant. <clears throat> Anyways, though, uh, we have our schedule. Um... Yeah, nothing really else to add on. I can't really say that the Red Bull affected me, um, unless, of course, I get annoyed from caffeine. I've I've had it happen that cola would give me headaches, but only after, like, drinking a few glasses. So, yeah, with how much caffeine is in that, it that would be <laughs> the cause, just a sing. Actually, let's take a quick look. How much caffeine is there in this thing? If it even says where... Uh, let's see. This is actually a sugar-free uh, version of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, high caffeine, not recommended for pregnant women. 32 milligram per 100 milliliters. And this is 250, so about 100 milligrams of caffeine. Okay, <laughs> that's quite a bit still, I'm pretty sure. I have yeah, no real I'm... reference frame to that, so that might have played a part in this. Oh, yeah. well. 
and mm -hmm. don't buy that either since it, it is it is there's getting more and more real people realize that they want sugar free variations or a scam for they have another thing that replaces the sugar and it's basically three times worse than sugar yeah, I've heard talk of some um, of some of the sugar replacements that pe that the companies use that uh, can cause a, well, a worse reaction over time. But yeah, I'll I'll be avoiding this stuff because yeah, if it if it did aid in the annoyance, that's a reason to uh, get rid of it. If it didn't, then it just didn't have an effect on me, and yeah, it wasn't that good of a taste, anyways. I think it did for... Yeah, you got a bit easier annoyed than usual. Usually you, it takes a lot for you to get annoyed. True. Or something very harsh for you to get annoyed. Hmm. Anyway, so no more Red Bull for me. I'll just have to stick with the chocolate milk for my sugar rush. Not that I get any one anyways. Uh, yeah, we've stalled enough. We have to schedule Monkey Island next time, and then four more games to test out. And yeah, we are getting actually. I'm just going to stop here. We we still have plenty of games to show on uh, Sunday, even when we hit the current end of the list, because there's still a bunch of games uh, not in it listed in GOG in my drawer here. So uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching. <laughs> Actually, I should not. I should remember to freaking do a raid, even if it is a solo raid. Uh, at least it'll be good for networking a bit. So let's bring up a browser, go to Twitch, and see if there is anyone of a similar size or a small streamer that we can raid. I never get um, used to that term. For if he, like, either, there we talk about a. MMO raid, we raid a dungeon, so you're about to raid someone's yard. Burning, punishing raid and all that. Okay. Uh, Viking Blonde is on. So, yeah, let's see then. Uh, using the chatty program doesn't really work with raiding because it doesn't really jump over to the raided channel. So I'll just have to start up or go to the channel page and start the raid from there. You... All right. Uh, almost 10 minutes extra onto this. Uh, yeah, definitely no more freaking Red Bull for me. I'll start the raid and yeah, uh, raid Viking Blonde. Yep. Uh, will most likely be just me and anyone. Okay, yeah, there's just one viewer, which is me. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, thank you, anyone who may have been watching now or later. And thank you, as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, we've already set the schedule like three times now. Monkey Island next up, which should be a lot more relaxing and a lot more, well, a lot, a lot of fun as well. I, I really like the banter between Strife and War. <laughs> it's really the best part. Yeah. But until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks.